video we are going to see how to install Tomcat using Ansible 3.0. Uh, I'm going to do it on my local. I have a Vagrant uh, machine set up. Okay, let me show you Vagrant status command. Uh, you can see that I have a machine named default and it is already running. So uh, I have named this as a test server in my uh, Ansible host file. Let me show you the host file. This is my host file and you can see that I have actually configured Ansible host to my local 127 loopback IP and the port is 2222 and uh, so this is actually connecting to the Vagrant machine. Uh, so let me first uh, show you, let me try to ping this machine, Ansible mping test server, yeah, so I just have to do this, let's see if I'm able to connect, you can see that I'm able to connect, now let me stop this machine, Vagrant, uh, I'm, anyways we let's start as start fresh, so I'm gonna destroy this machine. I'm issuing the Vagrant destroy command. So if you are new to Vagrant and Ansible integration, we have an article uh, uh, in, in our uh, DevOps extension blog. You can go ahead and refer and set up yourself with a Vagrant and Ansible. Yeah, now uh, the Vagrant machine is destroyed. Let's check the Vagrant status. You can see it is not created. Now we can try to ping it, it would actually failing you can see that it is unreachable now let's clear the screen <clears throat> let's bring it up i'm bringing this up vagrant up so since we have destroyed it's a it will create from the uh, scratch it's a new vm that we are creating whatever the changes and installation everything whatever we have done earlier would be gone so i'm using ubuntu bionic 64 image so it, it will be a a uh, fresh image that it would be fetching from the Vagrant uh, <coughs> repository. So let's wait for a few minutes. So I have chose, uh, I mean, I have chosen uh, Wi-Fi wireless as the adapter so that it would be able to connect uh, to the internet as well as uh, to the local bridge, which means the uh, host, which is Mac and the VM, uh, both will be connected. So now you can see that uh, the machine is ready. Let's check the status, Vagrant status. Um, yeah, you can see the background is, uh, I mean, the machine is up and running. Now let's try once again to ping this machine in Ansible, I ad hoc command, Ansible iPhone M ping test server. So if you're new to Ansible ad hoc or playbook, we have at least uh, 50 plus articles in Ansible. Please go ahead and, uh, uh read all of them. Uh, these are all, they are all like introductory to beginner to mastering, uh, level of articles we have please go ahead and help yourself. Yeah, now <coughs> uh, the principle uh, is connecting. Let's go ahead and start our installation. Okay, so just to make sure that we do not have any, uh, you know, installation just to uh, show it to you that this machine is really uh, clean and it, we do not have any prior installation, even Java. Okay, I'm just gonna execute a couple of shell commands using the Ansible ad hoc style. Uh, so ansible hyphen m shell is a module and uh, I'm gonna give an argument to this module. Uh, let's say that I wanted to <coughs> give a, uh, wanted to see if Java is there. Okay, I'm executing a Java hyphen version command on my test server. So I have to define this test server. Uh, maybe I can actually do it here. Ansible test server hyphen m shell a Java version. So you can see that it actually have come up with a non-zero return code, which means it is not actually there. And uh, we will also see the OPT directory because we are going to, our playbook is designed to use OPT Tomcat 8 as the base directory of uh, Tomcat. So I'm just listing if there are any directories under OPT, you can see that uh, there are no directories under slash OPT. Okay, uh, I'll also execute uh, one more command, like let's say, uh, you name or maybe uptime just to make sure that it is our new box you can see that it has been up only for two minutes so yeah that's all so this is a, a quick ansible ad hoc commands that we are using so we have uh, an article for ansible ad hoc as well uh, with at least 50 plus uh, examples so please uh, go ahead and read now uh, let's go ahead uh, and try to uh, use our playbook before i initiate let me show you the playbook 
Tomcat. It is, I think, install tomcat.yaml. So this is a file. So basically, this uh, script, I mean, this uh, YAML manifest actually contains a couple of tasks right here, or we can call it as a play. First, it actually downloads the OpenJDK using uh, apt, uh, apt get module. And uh, second is it validates whether the Java is there using a shell command. We are basically running the Java hyphen version command. If this is not there, if it is returning a non-zero return code, it will uh, par I mean it will stop the playbook. So that's that's how uh, we are actually using shell for the validation. There are uh, multiple other options available like assert, uh, wait or something like that. But we are using a simple uh, shell uh, module and executing a command. If it is not there, it will fail. It will stop the playbook. Okay. And uh, create the group. Uh, so we are creating a dedicated group called Tomcat and creating a user uh, named Tomcat using a user module and group module. And uh, we are creating a directory using a file module right here. Uh, we are creating a user directory uh, opt tomcat8 where we are going to as we already said we are going to use this as a base directory for our tomcat second thing is uh, i mean the next thing is download tomcat using the get url so we are using a module um, okay we are not using get url i need to update it so i am directly using an unarchive uh, module uh, you can actually do that with get url also but uh, you have to do a one more step of uh, extracting uh, the downloaded zip file or tar file which can be easily done in the archive an archive itself an archive download the uh, i mean artifact from the remote and also compress i mean also uh, decompress it like let's say if it is zipped it will it will unzip it and uh, if it is tar it, it actually untar it uh, that's that's how you just try it out and uh, next thing is uh, we are moving those files to a right directory like uh, it will come up with some app, apache iphone tomcat 8.5 something like that so we are moving that to a opt tomcat 8 as we already said that the catalina home or the tomcat base directory is going to be opt tomcat where there will be a bin directory log and everything okay so creating a service file so it's a basic template that we are using you can see that the catalina base we are setting it as opt tomcat 8 for those who already know what are these uh, values uh, you'll be able to relate to it otherwise please go ahead and uh, refresh uh, your uh, tomcat knowledge uh, yeah and uh, you can see that we have just used the uh, full path uh, startup statistics and start on statistics that's all we are basically creating a service file using a copy module so we are kind of writing of content into the remote file using a copy module this is one of a trick that you can actually use it in your playbook and uh, uh, reload the system d uh, so you can actually uh, system d module we have a dedicated article for uh, system d as well uh, system d module in this playbook is basically to you know uh, we we always like if you are uh, have experience in Linux, you might have used this system daemon reload just to make sure that after adding a new file into the services directory, uh, you just have to reload your system daemon so that it would be able to recognize it. That's the basically we are doing it. Uh, yeah. And this next one is uh, to enable Tomcat uh, uh, at the startup. Okay. During the boot time. Okay. So we are using the system D module right here. So yeah. And uh, you can see that we are just giving the name of that uh, service tomcat and enabled yes state is started okay we have to make sure i mean in this way we are making sure it is started right now and also enabled for the future i mean the during the boot up and uh, the last thing is to validate that everything went well and uh, by just connecting to uh, http localhost 8080 which is the default uh, web interface of the tomcat application server we are using a uri module along with until and uh, until retry okay so it will basically wait for this url to be available and it tries five times and it actually uh, uh, wait for like uh, 10 seconds before it go for each time okay and this percentage symbol is added as part of the cat so uh, just ignore that yeah so now we have covered it and i have given the playbook on uh, the associated article you can uh, this video is a additional uh, supplementary uh, 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 i mean uh, supplementary item for the article that i am writing on uh, devops junction middleware inventory please go ahead and uh, read the article and uh, the source code is also pasted there. yeah now uh, let me start it out i'm gonna install this uh, i'm gonna 
uh, run this playbook ansible hyphen playbook and i'll say install hyphen talking so uh, one more thing that i actually wanted to cover is that if you look at this we already have defined the host name which is the test server and uh, you also have to up, 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 i mean update the download underscore url that's a variable uh, so here uh, i mean what i actually do is i just go to uh, uh, apache website and try to get the url whatever is latest available you just have to put the full url of your uh, apache uh, whatever in your region available just put it uh, so that it would be fine so yeah now you have to update it the download url uh, remember if you are trying from uh, india or uk i think this url might possibly work but uh, just keep in mind that you have to change it if it doesn't work now yeah let's go ahead ansible playbook install tomcat.yaml yeah now that's all let's wait for uh, sit back and relax few wait for a few minutes and uh, the tomcat will be ready uh, so if i'm not wrong it will just take uh, uh, based on your bandwidth and internet speed it will take like two minutes for to set up a, a tomcat and uh, that that's the beauty of automation is what i believe so yeah we are using open jdk here you can uh, optionally convert it to some other jdk but uh, i feel that open jdk is preferable uh, yeah you can see that uh, the open jdk is downloaded java validation is done uh, group creation all the tasks are getting completed one by one and you can see that now we are actually waiting at the last stage connecting to the tomcat server on port 8080 and waiting for status 200 uh, as we already told it will test for five times uh, you can see that first time it actually tried uh, and it failed and the second time it actually succeeded okay so because we were we just started it and we cannot just like uh, i mean in the next step we are validating so it is good to strategically create this kind of delay so we can either like sleep our playbook using wait for module or you can use this ansible retry uh, i mean uh, until retry module with the uri itself so until and retries can be used along with any other ansible modules like shell um, uri get url and everything okay so that is that is uh, it's a kind of a um, viable usage right here so yeah that's all and hope this video is helpful and uh, stay connected uh, uh, subscribe uh, to our uh, youtube channel and uh, stay connected to uh, devops junction in middle bar inventory nice uh, to see you through this video thank you we'll see you next video